Hi everyone, I finished another iteration of my 3D eye tracker in Python, and this video will show you how to build your own tracker for testing with my code and displaying a gaze dot on a forward facing camera. First off, you'll need an eye tracking camera, small board camera, glasses with the lenses removed, soft wire, and electrical tape, all of which are available in the video description. Here I have the GC0308 infrared camera, which I feature in several of my other videos. A new addition is this small camera board, which I've mounted to the front of the glasses using electrical tape. The forward camera image quality is not that great, but this is the cheapest one I could find that was basically functional. I bought these glasses from the dollar store, and you can use pipe cleaners or coated wire to hold the cameras in place. I recommend having each of the cables run down each different side of the glasses, which will help with balancing the weight. Next, download the Orlowski 3D Tracker front camera.py file, install any necessary dependencies, and run it from your terminal. You can also download glsphere.py for the visualization, but the tracker will still run without it. On startup, you'll get a window asking whether you want to use a camera or video. For the glasses, select Start Camera, reposition the camera to ensure your eye is in full view, and the eye tracking will self-calibrate to your eye position. Secondly, you need to calibrate the eye tracker to the front camera. You'll see a small red dot in the center of the screen. Align your head so the center of the image from the camera aligns with the center of the dot on your screen, like shown here. Press C which will fix both the eye model and the relationship between the gaze camera and the scene camera. The little red dot will now follow your eye gaze, and you're good to go. Though I still need to solve for a few more gaze parameters and implement a multi-point calibration, you can already easily build this and test it on your own. You can also join the channel to directly support this project, and all parts are also available in the description. In a future video, I'm going to implement this on the Raspberry Pi so that you can have a completely mobile solution. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for updates.